Sanjay. Welcome to my channel. I'm bringing you my CVS haul for September 30th through October 6th. There's many great deals to take advantage of this week like chocolate, some shampoo and conditioners, some dish soaps, I have some Gain Fling, some hand soap, some mouth care, and some makeup and body wash. So if you'd like to know what I did to pay this at a really great price, then just keep on watching. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Alexis. I do weekly CVS haul videos and other stores as well to help you save money. So subscribe to my channel if you would like to keep watching more videos and turn on your notifications if you, so you can get alerted when I upload my next video. Um, so let's get started with the deals. So to start off, I did do the Revlon makeup. That is my favorite deal of the week because I love makeup. So to start off, I did um, get these, let's see, the plumping lip creams. These are $9.99 at my store. So I got two of them. The reason I got two is because I had a two off of $12 um, CVS coupon from the machine that I scanned today. So for two of them, it came out to uh, $19.99. I had that $4 um, CVS coupon at Revlon or Alme that the CVS machine printed out for me. So I was able to stack that here. Brought it down to $15.98. And then I had two of the $2 off each of these lip products from coupons.com that you can print. I'm not sure if they're still available, but they were um, last week. So I grabbed a few of those uh, and printed those right away. So after those $4 in coupons, it knocked it down to $11.98. I used a two off of 12 cosmetics. CVS coupon so I brought it down to nine dollars and ninety eight cents and if you buy if you spend ten dollars you get back a four dollar extra care buck um, so I did get over that ten dollars making it um, eight dollars that I got back since I got two of these lipsticks they are $9.99 each so I got back eight dollars uh, making it a dollar and ninety eight cents for the two products or 99 cents each if you were to have gotten the um, the lip balms those were 4.99 and they would have been a money maker but my store completely ran out for almost two weeks now so I haven't seen those back in stock yet um, but these are a great alternative they are 9.99 at my store so if you buy one you will get it completely free but I got two and um, because I had the two off of 12 um, cosmetics coupon so I wanted to just get two of them for 99 cents each, which is okay with me because I wanted to try these out. So definitely a good price to pay for a 9.99 lipstick. Next deal, uh, oh, and this qualifies towards beauty. So you can always start tracking $20 to tracks towards the 30 that you need to spend to get an additional $3 back. I did the Colgate mouthwash that is on sale at my store for three dollars and ninety nine cents and if you buy one you get a two dollar extra care buck limit of two per household so I did get two of those for both of them it comes out to seven dollars and ninety eight cents I had a two dollars off of six mouthwash CVS coupon that I was able to use here and um, two of the one dollar off one manufacturer coupons from the smart source 930 so it knocked my total down to $3.98 and I got back a $4 extra care book. Since it's buy one, get two back, I bought the two, so I got $4 back, making it completely free. Next, I did the um, toothpaste. These ones are on sale also for the $3.99. And if you buy one, you get a $2 extra care book. So for both, it was $7.98. I used two of the $1 off one manufacturer coupons from the Smart Source 930. Um, I also used a $2 off of two CVS um, toothpaste coupon. So it was on Crest, but also any coupon, any um, toothpaste. So I was able to use that there. Knocked it down to the $3.98. And I got back a $4 extra care book, making them free plus a two cent money maker. Also, it gets better because on Ibotta, there is a 50 cent rebate for the sensitive and there's a 75 cent rebate for the enamel health. So it's free plus a $1.27 money maker. So definitely a great time to stock up on some toothpaste 
if you were to have gotten the other ones like the Colgate totals those would be free anyway but um, if you can get the money makers it's gonna be a great deal if you get two enamel health you can make it a one dollar and fifty cent money maker but I wanted to submit more different rebates to earn like bonuses and stuff so um, I just got the two different ones so definitely a great deal on the toothpaste Next, I did the, oops, my calculator fell. Um, next, I did the um, Dove and Axe body wash. Those are on promotion for if you buy one, you get the other one 50% off. And if you spend $15, you get a $5 extra care bug. There is other brands included, but I decided to get the Dove and the Axe together. So for the Dove, at regular price, it's $7.49, and the other one is half off at $3.74, making it $11.23 for both. And the Axe is $5.79 regular price, and the second one at $2.89. So it comes out to $8.68 for those two. Totaling all four together, it comes out to $19.91. I used two of the $1 off one Axe manufacturer coupons from the Retail Me Not 923. And I also used two of the $1 off one Dove body wash coupons from the Retail Me Not 923 as well. Knocked it down to $15.91. I had a $2 off of eight Axe body wash coupon from CVS and I also had a three dollars off of ten body wash coupon from CVS so that knocked it down to ten dollars and ninety one cents I got back a five dollar extra care buck making it five dollars and ninety one cents for all four but it gets better because the Ibotta rebate there is one for the Dove men it is for fifty cents off one and you can submit it more than once so I was able to get back $1, 50 cents for each one, knocking it down to $4.91 for the four or $1.22 each body wash. Great deal on those. Anything under $2 for this is great. Next simple deal this week that anyone can do is on the soft soap. These are on sale for $1.88. And if you buy one, you'll get back a $1 ECB, which is an extra care buck, making it $0.88. Cents. So simple deal. This is on the um, 7.5 ounce. Next, I did the palm olive dish soap. So the palm olive was buy two get a two dollar extra care buck. These are the 20 ounce bottles. Um, they are on sale for two dollars and ninety nine cents, and the second one is fifty percent off. So it's buy one get one fifty percent off. So one ring up as two ninety nine, and the other one ring up as a dollar forty nine. For both, it came out to four dollars and forty eight cents. I had um, two 25 cent off one manufacturer coupons from the Smart Source 930. So I discounted 50 cents, making it $3.98 for both. I also had a $1 off of two palm olive liquid dish detergents from CVS. So I was able to stack that here, making it $2.98 for the two. And I got back that $2 extra care buck for buying two, making it $0.98 cents for both or $0.49 cents each. Amazing, amazing deal. $0.49 cents each for a big 20-ounce bottle is a great price. So if you have that CVS coupon for a dollar off of two, it'll come out to an even sweeter deal. But if you don't have that, then it will be $1.98 for both or $0.99 cents each, which is still a great deal for this big bottle. So definitely grab those. Next deal that I took advantage of was on the Hershey's candy. 
These are on sale for buy three, get a $2 extra care book. Um, and they are on sale for three for eight three for eight dollars so definitely a great deal to take advantage of this week because it is Halloween coming up so like I said I'm stocking up on all these candies and I'm also doing a giveaway at work so stay tuned for that I would like to show you guys what I did for the giveaway um, so that my coworkers can have some candy to give out for the kids this week this um, year so I'm excited to do that so stay tuned for that video I will be posting it very soon so um, after the 348, I did have a $1 off of two manufacturer coupon that was in the Smart Source 923. Um, I also had the $3 off of three CVS Hershey's candy um, from last week, so I saved it for this week to be able to use it. Knocked it down to $4, and I had a two, uh, got back a $2 extra care buck, making it $2 for the three bags or $0.66 cents each. Great deal for the candy. Last but not least, I did the PNG deal. So there is many scenarios and many um, brands that you can include in this um, breakdown, but I wanted to do these items, so this is what worked best for me. So the PNG was on sale for if you spend thirty, you get a ten dollar extra care buck. I needed these things here, and it worked out best to be lower out of pocket for me. So I did the green flings. I also did a Dawn dish soap. Three of the Pantene's and two Head and Shoulders. So the Game Flings was four dollars and ninety four cents. The Dawn was ninety nine cents. The Pantene was three for twelve dollars, and the Head and Shoulders was two for twelve dollars. So adding all those together, it came out to twenty nine dollars and ninety three cents, getting me up to that thirty dollars that I needed to spend. Even though it's not quite at that thirty, as long as you spend ninety eight percent of what you need to spend, like. Um, to get to the 30 then your ecb will still print so if you're wondering about that it'll still work if you're over 98 percent so in 29.93 i had a two dollar send to card coupon from the cvs app for the game flings that was just added today in the morning so i was able to send that to my card and it comes off automatically at checkout also the three off of two head and shoulders that is also from my CVS app so I was able to send that to my card I also had the five dollars off of three Pantene products from the CVS app as well so I sent that to my card there was no coupon for the Dawn so that was just 99 cents so after all those coupons I also had a four dollars off of 18 CVS shampoo or conditioner CRT so I was able to stack that with the shampoo and conditioners. Knocked it all the way down to $15.93 and I got back a $10 extra care buck for spending 30, making it $5.93 for, for all seven products or 84 cents each. Great, great deal considering the Dawn at 84 cents is still okay deal because they are normally on sale for 99 cents. So that is amazing price for the head and shoulders, for the panting, for the gain. So that is what worked best for me. But if, all, like I said, you want other things and you can definitely substitute them, but you can only do the household deal a limit of one per household. So you can only spend 30 and get 10 once. Well, that concludes my CVS haul for this week. I did take advantage of these deals. This is what worked best for me. There is other deals that you can do this week, but of course, if you don't have the money to spend it, then you don't have to grab it because they come around all the time. So um, I wanted to show you guys my receipt. Everything worked perfectly fine. I did a total of two transactions. The first transaction was my large transaction, which was Let's see, it was the chocolate, the soft soap, the Colgate mouthwash and Colgate toothpaste, the Dove and Axe, and the palm olive dish soaps. All of my manufacturer coupons came off nicely. I only used a $6 beauty buck because I am a dummy and, my, and I left my um, extra care bucks at home by accident. 
So I had to use some of my cash, which was okay with me because either way I can use them next week. Um, but if you want to pay as little out, out of pocket as possible, then you can split up into more different transactions. But I only wanted to do two today. So I spent a total of $23.65 with tax. And I got back a whole bunch of ECBs for each of those deals that I rolled to my next transaction. I did the PNG deal on this one plus the um, Revlon lipsticks. All of my coupons came out perfectly. Those are the ones from the CVS app that you see there. Pantene, Head and & Shoulders and & Gain, and those came out perfectly. And I um, rolled my ECBs for my first transaction and paid $12.13 out of my pocket. And I got back $18 in extra care books for this from this transaction. So I'll be using these along with the ones that I forgot at home on my next trip. I also got a $4 off of $30 purchase to be able to use on my next trip. So I'm excited to show you guys what I do with that. I hope there is a way to work around it. And I think I've got it down to be able to use that next time. So stay tuned for that video. But anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I know this is a long video, but it was definitely worth it to share it with you guys. So if you'd like my video, then give it a thumbs up. Share it with your family and friends if you want them to grab a hold of these deals as well. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.